What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Miles, and today's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to give you a virtual, boom, pound it right there. Welcome back, and today I want to give you guys some tips on how to lose some body fat, how to lose weight, no matter what your goals are, whether it's to compete in mixed martial arts, or whether it's to get in better shape so you can be healthier and be around longer for your family. Who knows, maybe your, uh, your wife needs to lose some weight and you need to tell her that. Or not, because you might get smacked. But maybe you want to lose a little bit of weight to get more confident, get a little six-pack, and uh, feel more confident and just feel better in general, physically. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to give you a real-life example on how to lose 30 pounds in two months. All right, now this is an extreme example. I'm gonna break this up into two phases. One's gonna be the preparation phase, and then the next one's gonna be the water cut phase. So 15 pounds you're gonna lose on the preparation phase, and then 15 more pounds is gonna be on the water cut phase. So if you're new to this channel, before we get into it, I just wanna welcome you. My name is Miles. I'm a professional mixed martial arts fighter, and I've been fighting and training at the, the highest levels for the past decade. I've had a bunch of fights in the UFC, I'm currently fighting with Bellator, and my goal with this channel is just to inspire and educate people through martial arts, fitness, and some personal finance. So those, those both play a big role throughout your life, and at this channel, we want to give you some tools to help better your life. Now, the first step of this phase is to go and get on a diet. You cannot outwork your mouth. I'm telling you this right now. If you're thinking, oh, you know, I'm just going to eat and, you know, kind of just eat a little less each day and kind of however I feel. No, you're going to run into cravings. Your mind's going to play tricks on you and you're going to constantly eat more than you're burning off. And that's never going to help you lose weight. So first things first, I would recommend go and talk to a dietitian, somebody who works with athletes or regular people and helps them get to a certain target goal. He's going to give you a blueprint on how to get your weight from wherever you're at down to wherever you want to go. And this is super important because this is going to be your, your map every day on where you're going with your diet. The next tip is to do fasted cardio two to three times a week, maybe even four times if you're feeling crazy and you want to do it. But when you wake up in the morning, before you eat your cereal, before you even uh, you know eat anything, you can have a little bit of coffee, but don't eat anything. Go outside, either get a jog in, uh, you can maybe go to a kickboxing cardio class, a boxing cardio class, do some cycling, go do hot yoga, anything from 45 minutes to 90 minutes depending on the workout. And you're going to do this before you actually eat. And this is going to help you jumpstart, burn body fat, get that metabolism rolling in the morning, get those calories burning early. And this is a secret sauce right here to burning body fat and burning it quickly. And also don't forget guys, when you're doing these workouts, they don't have to be intense. You're just trying to burn body fat during this preparation phase. So less intensity, but more volume, longer workouts. And let's not forget while you're at it, smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Really helps out the channel a lot. The next tip is three to four weeks that you're into this eight week you know, program, if you want to call it that, is once a week, you're going to start doing a 24 hour fast. So what this means is that you're going to wake up in the morning on, let's say, a Sunday, a rest day. You're not doing much. You're just hanging around the house, watching YouTube videos, maybe a little bit of Netflix, just relaxing. What you're going to do is you're going to get the, uh, the fasted mix. It's a little bit like vinegar, ginseng root. Uh, if, if you guys want the specific fast mix, shoot me uh, an email and I'll send it to you or drop a comment below and I'll try and get that out to you. But you're going to put that mix in a gallon of water. And you're just going to sip on that throughout the day. You're going to drink the whole gallon. You can also drink more water, just regular water without the mix as well. But that's all you're going to do. You're going to go to bed, and then you're going to wake up the next day, and you're going to continue on your diet like normal. So this fast is what it's going to do. It's going to help you reset your hormones. You're going to obviously burn a lot more calories because you're not taking any food in. And it's a way to jumpstart getting ahead of burning that body fat and getting it done quicker. Because remember, if we want to lose weight and we want to lose it faster we got to do different things so this is going to really help you doing a 24-hour fast once a week all these tips i'm giving you guys is what i've used personally as well i would never tell you something that i haven't personally done and tried and see if it worked or didn't work so a lot of this is through personal experience and i'll tell you this doing the fast and the fasted cardios and being on a diet it makes the world a difference i mean it's everything on getting your weight down 
being in competition like like I am, I have to make a target weight. So it's it's half of my job description. So learn from me, take some of these tools, use them in your personal life how you see fit, and get in better shape. If anybody wants to jumpstart their physical fitness, their personal finances, make sure to hit that link in the description below. We can go over and help you with anything you need from real estate investing to losing weight to mixed martial arts. We are here for you. We look forward to talking to you. This second phase is more for bodybuilders, more for uh, MMA fighters, wrestlers, jujitsu kind of competitors, anybody that's competing and wants to lose weight to make a, uh, a weight class. This second phase is for them. So let's get into it. Three days before I actually weigh in, I'm going to change up my diet and what I'm drinking. We get to the end of this eight week program. We've been doing all of our preparation phases and it's getting close to the weigh-in. So what you're going to want to do is three days out from your actual weigh-in, you're going to cut all sodium. You're not going to have any salts in your foods. You're, you're not going to have uh, anything that's going to retain water. And while you're at it, you're going to shoot down your, your meals are going to be a lot smaller. There's not, you're not going to be taking in as much calories or as much food. On top of that, you're going to start drinking two gallons of water. You want your body to start producing a hormone that's going to help you get rid of water. Because remember, this last phase is a water cut. So start drinking those two gallons of water, cut back on any sodium so your body's not retaining any, any water. And then the next thing is you're going to cut back on the carbohydrates. You're going to have maybe 75 to 80% less carbs, if not more, that you were previously eating. At the end, the last day, the day before weigh-ins, that's the biggest weight cut. What you're going to do is you're going to work out two one-hour sessions. And this can be, I, I personally like wrestling, maybe like just a little pummeling, light intensity. We're not going crazy. Maybe some shadow boxing. Uh, you just want to get sweating. And then you want to just keep that sweat going for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. You can do two sessions. And in the sessions, you're going to lose total in both anywhere from nine to 11 pounds. So yeah, I personally, I like to jump in the sauna after I've broken a sweat. I get in there. I just kind of flow a little bit, keep getting my weight down, losing that water weight. And in the morning before weigh-ins, I do one more session, warm up, get sweating, jump in the sauna, get that weight down. Boom. I go, I, I check my weight. I'm good. I go step on the official scale, hit them with a little bit of the flex. And after that, I start rehydrating. So I basically get from 170 all the way down to 155, and then I get right back up to 170. So this is an intense example, and this one's not for everybody. And guys, remember, I'm just some guy on YouTube giving you my thoughts on this process. So consult with your physician, your health doctor, before you jump into anything like this. If you stuck around this whole video, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.